I'm going to be ranking every weapon in Zou Samurai from worst to best. I've actually done a video like this last year, but back then there's only three weapons in Zou, but now there is six. So I was like, why not do a part two? Before we go ahead and get into this, make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell. We're so close to 120k subs. Um, so help your boy out. And without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into this. All right, so here we are in the actual game now. And the first thing I just want to go ahead and say is everything is my opinion. So some of you guys may disagree. Some of you guys may agree. Um, everything is in my opinion. At the end of the day, every weapon is good. It just depends on your playstyle. But this is my ranking personally. Alright, so starting off with the worst weapon, I would have to say it's the Chaosis, dude. The Chaosis is just not really it. Um, it was a hard choice between the Chaosis and the Kusara Gama, but the Kusara Gama recently got reworked, which kind of made it like slightly better. Um, but yeah, starting off with the worst on our list, I would have to say it's the Chaosis. So the only good thing about the Chiestus is the fact that you could sprint with the weapon. Obviously, you can't really fully sprint. Like, it's sprinting, but obviously it's a little slowed down. Um, but yeah, like like I said, guys, like this is all my opinion. I don't really feel like the Chiestus is a really good weapon. It's not really balanced. Um, the hitboxes are kind of wonky as well. So I don't, I don't really like the weapon as much. Um, yeah, man, like obviously if you have a good play style with it, go for it. It's a pretty good weapon if you know how to use it. But personally, I don't like it. It has a small hitbox because you could sprint with the weapon and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, honestly, I don't want to waste too much time on the worst weapons. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and keep moving on with our list here and get to the second. Alright, so the next weapon that we have here is the Kusari Gama. So the Kusari Gama recently got reworked as well, which is why I put it over the Chiestus. Otherwise, I would have put the Kusari Gama as the worst, but it actually did get reworked recently. And what they did in this rework is that they made the hitbox of this weapon slightly bigger. They also like changed the animations and stuff as well. Um, but honestly, I feel like this weapon is still not as good as it should be. Um, obviously, it has like some wonky hitboxes. It's not smooth. And um, when I look at these weapons, I always like to look at the stats. Like, what weapon has the best range? What weapon has a good at like attack speed? You always have to take these things into consideration when using these weapons. And I feel like the Kusara Gama is not a balanced weapon, dude. Um, it kind of like it works sometimes. Like, you might you might use this, and if you find like a certain play style with it, it might work. But honestly, like honestly speaking, guys, I don't really enjoy using this weapon as much. Like, look, look. Sometimes the hits go through the person, bro. That's the one thing I don't like about this weapon is I don't really understand how the hitboxes work. It has a really like weird hitbox kind of. Um, but yeah, they did rework it and kind of fix that problem. But I still kind of see it. I don't really like this weapon as much just due to, due to the fact that I don't understand the hitboxes and it just has a weird range overall. Um, but yeah, that's the Kusara Gama for you guys. Um, you, like I said, you got to take all these factors into consideration. Like, is it does it have good attack speed? Does it have good range? And all these kind of things. Um, but other than that, that's the Kusara Gama, which is that. Okay, so the next weapon that we have here is the Tonto. So the Tonto is probably one of the first weapons that came out in Zo that has that short range but fast attack speed weapon. Um, so honestly, I feel like the Tonto is a lot better than the Chiestus and the uh, Kusara Gama. Um, so the Tonto has a pretty decent attack speed. It has a pretty decent range as well. Um, so obviously you can't sprint with this like the Chaosis, but um, yeah, it's a pretty decent weapon, man. I really li like like this a lot more than the Chaosis and the Kusar Gama. I feel like this is more balanced in terms of range and attack speed than the other two weapons that we went to through went went through so far. Um, but yeah, bro, like Tonto, it's a pretty decent weapon, man. Don't get me wrong. A lot of people actually do use Tonto in this game, and they make it work. But like I said, all of these weapons are good, but you just have to find a certain playstyle and a certain movement to, to go along with it. Alright? So obviously with these smaller weapons, a lot of people, what they like to do with it is spam. So if you're one of those players that like to spam a lot in this game, which I do not recommend, um, but it happens, man. A lot of people do spam. Well, like, it is what it is, but if you are one of those people that like to spam a lot, I'd probably recommend using the Tonto, bro. Um, it's one of those weapons that are super spammy and sometimes like you can't really perfect block it. Alright, so moving on with this list, the next weapon that we have is the Kanabo. So the Kanabo obviously is one of those heavy weapons. It has a slower attack speed, but it has a pretty decent range as well. Uh, but the one thing I really like about the Kanabo is the fact that it packs a punch, alright? So if people are constantly blocking, but you still hit them with your Kanabo, like they take a lot of damage compared to other weapons, which is one thing I really like about this weapon. So you could actually use that towards your advantage when you actually make your play style with this weapon. As you guys can see, I'm using it right now. I don't really know how to use the Kanabo that much. But honestly, guys, I really like the Kanabo a lot. It's a pretty decent weapon. It has its own like ups and downs. But I feel like if you know how to use the Kanabo correctly, it's probably one of those top weapons, bro. It's a really good weapon. Look, look. every time I swing it at somebody and they block my, my attack, 
it drains at least like 30% of their health and other weapons will probably drain around like 5 to 10% so this weapon packs a punch it has a slow attack speed which some people are not used to but it does really pack a punch it has a pretty decent range as well um yeah it actually really has a good range dude it's comparable to the nagi range um so yeah this is the kanabo for you guys man i really like this weapon a lot which is why i put it over the kusar gama and the kestis and the tanto all right um so yeah this is the kanabo pretty decent weapon i'd rate it pretty high man pretty high all right so the next weapon that we have here is the nagi nasa so it was a very hard decision for me to make um I, I didn't know whether to put this first or the katana but i had to go ahead and put this a second like i said at the beginning of this video dude like it all depends on the way you want to play the game and the way you want to go ahead and make your play style um so if you're one of those people that like playing long range a hundred percent bro play the nagi dude the nagi is so good it's one of those weapons where it has a very good like range but it also has a very good attack speed as well like the kanabo like comparing this to kanabo like they probably have around the same range but look how much faster this weapon is dude this weapon is crazy it has the biggest range in the game also has a fair attack speed and um yeah dude like a lot of top players of this game use the nagi but at the end of the day it just comes to preference do you want to go ahead and use range or you want to be close Alright, so yeah, in terms of ranking the weapons, I would say the Nagi Natsa and the Katana literally go side to side. They're both the like the, the best weapons in this game, bro. It all comes down to preference. Uh, do you want to go ahead and use a long range weapon or do you want to go ahead and use a balanced weapon, which is also very good and has a decent range, which is the Katana, which is the next weapon. Alright, so here we have the best weapon in the game, the Katana. Bro, the katana is probably one of the most balanced weapons in the game, which is why I put it as number one. If you want range, it has it. If you want attack speed, it has it, bro. It's so balanced. Um, a lot of these other weapons, they all they all have their ups and downs, but I feel like the katana is the most balanced, which is why it's number one, bro. Alright, and if you guys don't know, my main weapon on this game is the katana. Like I said, man, the katana is one of the most balanced weapons on the game, which is why it's the best. But like I said at the beginning of this video, bro, everything I said in this ranking is my personal opinion. Some people may agree, some people may disagree, but this is what I personally think. And I'm looking at all of these aspects and all of these weapons from like all view stands, bro. Like I'm looking at like the, the range, the attack speed and all that kind of stuff. And this is what I come up with, man. The best weapon is the Katana, then it's the Naginata, and then it's the Kadabo, Tanto, Kusar Gama, and lastly, the Kiestis, all right? Um, this is what I personally believe is the best weapons in the game and uh bro look at my sword it went from purple to being red um but yeah man if you guys were wondering and you guys were planning to switch weapons i hope this guy i hope this guide helped you guys out and um yeah bro that's my guy all right so before we end this video i just want to go ahead and tell this guy to jump off the map because he's standing on the ledge um i guess he wants to do this the hard way <laughs> no problem bro <laughs> and there he goes bro um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, I'll see you guys all in the next one.